What's up guys, this is Afix and today we will be covering the second part of my FPS or my gun tutorial series and today we will be adding wall banging and we will also be adding actor damaging. For weapon to begin, let's go to our damage variable in the weapon base and let's just set it as a default to 10. And then after, you can see this is our code from last episode, after we do a line trace, we do have a hit result. And we'll drag out and break the hit result since it's a structure with a bunch of data. And then if you open the if you open up with the arrow, you can see all these different little uh, pieces of information from our hit. And then if you drag off of hit actor and then cast that to BP, and let's just let's first create um, like an, a test hit actor. So what I did do is you have to go into first person BP blueprints, right click, create blueprint class. Um, actor and then you just call it BP test hit actor but since I already did this I will not redo it that's what you guys have to do I already created it so what will we uh, will, we will be doing is then we will cast this hit actor to the BP and then um, over to the BP test hit actor which we just created and then uh, drag the pins together and then if the cast succeeded meaning that we did hit something that was a BP test hit actor, then we will apply damage to the actor. So we'll just do apply damage, and as base damage, we'll control drag damage variable in and connect that to base damage. Damage causer will be self, um, the damage type class, just select damage type, and that should be good, so compile. Now let's go to the BP test hit actor, and I will delete the code I have currently in here. And we will right click and do event any damage. And then drag off of that. Let's just print the damage. So just do print string and then drag damage to in string. Then compile, go to your map and then drag in a BP tested actor. And another thing I forgot to tell you guys is you have to add a static mesh component and a box component. And I scaled the box component to a scale of two on every axis. And over down here, we will have to make sure that the collision presets is on uh, block all. And in the static mesh, we also want block all. So then click compile and let's go into the map and drag in a BP test hit actor. Now if we click play and we shoot the actor, then you can see that we are dealing damage. You can see it on the left side. So if you click escape, let's go back into the weapon base and add wall banging. So over here, we will go to the fire function and we'll, we will create what is called uh, a random number generator. So here, um, I will delete this. We will add a branch. So in between the add and the line trace by channel, then we'll do random integer um, in range and then the range will be from one zero to one and the return value will make sure that it equals zero and if we'll plug that into the branch condition and if that is true we'll do a single line trace else we'll do a multi line trace so let's just add multi line trace by channel now the start will be the same so get world location and will be the same and the actors to ignore will be the same Trace complex, make that as true. Um, trace channel, let's do visibility for now, and we will change that later. Draw debug type, and we'll do that for duration. And then out hits, we'll do a for each loop to iterate through each object in the every object hit. And then we will go to the array element, and we'll break it since it's a hit structure. Then open that up, we'll have the hit actor, and we'll just apply damage and apply damage we could cast i'm not going to do that for now and then here for the apply damage for the base damage i will choose damage so i'll drag in damage connect that damage causer once again will be self and damage class will once again be damage type and then over here so this won't work currently since everything is somehow overlapping or blocking the visibility channel so we will create need to create our own custom trace channel that'll be ignored by every actor except the ones we want to be hit by this multi-line trace or wall banged hit so we'll go over to the project settings 
go to the left sidebar and go down under engine to collision and then go to trace channels click new trace channel and the name type in weapon and then make the default response ignore and then click accept since i already created it i will have it here so you guys need to create it i don't then over here in the multi-line trace let's trace through weapon and once again since the weapon default response is ignore uh, by default our tested actor will be ignoring this hit so under box go um, under you see collision presets select custom and then um, select block for weapon and then compile and i did add um, a render material so that i can see this through walls i'm not gonna have the asset for you guys sadly um, this is just for my testing to show you that guys that this code that i did write just works so uh, i may have a tutorial on it on the future you could also check out tom lumen's webpage, which i'll put down in the link um, you could drag in a cube this will be our wall and then click r to scale it let's make it longer and a little bit skinnier too we don't want too fat of a wall and then let's make it uh, stretched out a little bit and then w to move it and you can see that is our wall currently and then if we click play it doesn't seem that this is rendering through and now it is so if we click play let's see if it works um, if we shoot you can see that um, not on every shot it hits the cube but on some shots it does let me try it just clicked nothing happened clicked nothing happened so it's not a wall bang clicked again and finally i got one so you can see the wall banging system is based on a random number generator and it works effectively and nicely um, it's used in games such as valorant um, i believe csgo you can shoot through walls sometimes and maybe in the future we'll add depending like on the physical material so if it's metal it'll hard to be it'll be harder to bang uh, wood will be easier to bang so that is it for today's video and please stay tuned for the next one next video i will be covering bullet spread the one after that will be either effects or recoil depending on what i have then and stay tuned please like and subscribe for the next video and thank you for watching